Welcome back to another episode in our sales training series. Today we're going to set tow on a vehicle utilizing wind tow. Come with me. Hey Jim, how you doing? Tom, good. How about yourself? Good. What are you up to? Getting ready to set tow here. Oh, you're going to use wind tow? Wind tow? Yeah, well with wind tow it's actually a procedure that we have with the wind align software where you don't even have to use that steering wheel holder that you're, uh, you're applying right there and, and it gives us a better odd of getting a straight steering wheel every time. You want to give it a try? Yeah, definitely. All right, well, you know what? You're already in the car, so why don't you go ahead and level the steering wheel, install your brake pedal depressor, as that's part of wind tow anyways. And then once you get done with that, uh, why don't you raise the rack up to a good working height? We could do it from here, but it'll just make it a lot easier. And I'll meet you up at the console. Right, we'll do. All right, buddy. Yep. Hey, Jim. Hey, what's up, Tom? Hey, I noticed you brought some wrenches with you. Yeah. Cool. Well, you know what? We can actually verify if those are the right wrenches with a nice little uh, uh, Express Align tool we have called Tools and Kits. So I'm going to simply click on the uh, button here, and I got a 21 millimeter and 13 millimeter. What would you bring? Uh, yep. Exactly that. Not the first time doing this, is it? No, sir. All right. Well, what we're going to do is, again, utilizing that Express Align, we're going to jump right into setting tow with wind tow. So the very first step is start the engine and level the steering wheel, install the brake pedal presser and turn off the engine, which uh, you previously did prior to raising the rack. So now that we have step one completed, we're going to go ahead and hit the ready button. And now because we have an independent tie rod suspension on this vehicle, we're going to go ahead and just follow the screen. And what it wants us to do is just start from the right side of the vehicle. And so while we're doing the right side, the cameras are going to monitor what's going on on the left side. So if you want to just take your trusty wrenches and jump on underneath the vehicle, we'll go ahead and start adjusting it. And what you're going to want to do is, as you see the bar graph here, you're going to want to slide the X, get it right to where it's in view and get it right in the center of the valley. Looking good, Jim. So as you bring that arrow into the center of the valley, prior to tightening that jam nut down, it's very important that you jounce the suspension as noted in step two. Looking good. Well, that's almost perfection, Jim. Yes, sir. All right, so now we'll go ahead and tighten that jam nut down. Once we have the jam nut tightened, we're going to simply come up here. I'm going to hit the ready button, and then once we hit the ready button, we're going to go on to the, the other side. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and hit the K4. All right, now we're going to go adjust the other side. So now, Jim, that nothing's changed with this side. We're going to simply make the same adjustments that we did on the opposite side, and we're just going to bring the arrow into the center of the valley. And remember, it's always important to jounce once you've made that adjustment. Perfectionist, aren't you? Yes, sir. Looking really good. All right, so now you can go ahead and tighten that jam nut down. And all we have to do now is verify that steering wheel. So come on back up to the console, and we're going to hit the ready, and we'll do a verification of our steering wheel. All right, I appreciate you getting the uh, rack at a nice working height. So uh, what we're going to do now is step four of the wind tow process. So all you have to do now is just start the engine and simply sweep the wheels back and forth, bringing them back to center. And oh, wait, I noticed you put a nice little piece of tape on the, uh, the steering column. That's a great practice for actually making sure that you have a good reference point for a, a straight steering wheel. So good for you, that's, that's wonderful. Well, let's go ahead and begin the process. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and start the vehicle and sweep the tires. Great job, Jim. It looks like your mark is actually uh, lined up, too. So what do you think of Winto so far? 
Awesome, I love it. All right, well, all we have to do now is verify that our straight ahead is centered uh, with Express Align. So we'll go ahead and go back on up to the alignment console and we'll do a verification. Okay. All right, Jim, so we've completed step four of the process. So now that we've swept the tires and uh, we're just gonna hit the ready button now. And at that point now, you can see we've got tow is all green and everything was set. So what do you think about wind tow? I love that there's times I gotta set tow two and three times just using bar graphs. Well, wonderful. I'm glad I could uh, help your process out and make things a little bit easier for you. But you know, there is one last step to the process. It's resetting the steering angle sensors. Yep, let me go grab my scan tool. Well, you know, hold on one second. You know, actually, with again the wind align system, one other benefit that we have of using it is the fact that we have a device called Code Link where you're not going to need that scan tool. How long does it usually take you to reset the steering wheel sensors? Five, ten minutes. How would you like to do it in two? <laughs> Great. Well, Tell me how. Well, wonderful. All right. Well, this is our Code Link device. And so what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into the onboard diagnostic computer. And what's great about that is as we ran through all the processes in the screen, it's actually one more step in that process prior to printing out our printout. So what do you say we get started with that? Great. All right. Well, let's head on over to the car. All right, Jim. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the connector uh, uh, for the OBD2 port of our code link device. You're going to go ahead and plug that in and start the procedure. So that completes our presentation of Winto. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for our next episode of the sales training series.